Rocket Jr. is about, you know what, fuck this. Catch this blast bird. I was about to run away. No, 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 Wait, rewind that back. Salutations, all you lovelies! My name is Equinox, and welcome back to the Pokemon Heart Gold Scrambled Egglock. Last time we got a, a fucking another Magic Carp, another Magic Carp. We got Dark Fish, dude, and he's got Dragon Dance, Hydro Pump, Fly, and Explosion. So uh, you know. He's a bit better than our older Magikarp, but still it's a Magikarp nonetheless, so it's not something to be too excited about, but we did acquire getting the gym badge. Acquire getting the gym badge. I am on the ball today. Uh, I, I'm gonna be completely, like, completely transparent with you guys, completely discreet. I have 30 minutes to record this. I have 30 singular minutes to get this video out to the public, to the people, to do this, because afterwards I'm recording Unlock with Travis and then I'm going straight into a live stream, which by the way, if you guys don't watch my live streams, y'all should, they're pretty big good. And uh, we're gonna start this off immediately, like before I get into any topics or anything, Trico is our mom that we're catching. We're gonna nab him, we're gonna hatch an egg, and that is how we're gonna be starting off this episode. I am excited. We don't have anything to hit this Trico with. We have Equator, we have Equator. We, we have Equator, that is fine, but if you guys did enjoy the last episode, then I hope you're enjoying this one. I don't know what I'm trying to say. If you guys did indeed fucking watch the last episode, then you guys would have known that the question of the day was what fucking show did you guys watch growing up? What was your favorite kid show? And I saw tons and tons of people saying like, just the same fucking shows that I used to watch. And I thought that was really cool. I honestly thought that was super cool that like everyone watches the same, that one's half damage. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's some, oh. Okay. Anyways, about about the shows is I thought it was pretty cool that you guys watched the same things that I used to watch. Um, and I, I, I felt like I really got to relate to you guys on a personal level and I thought that was, I, I really enjoyed the fact that I got to, that I could do that. So this question of the day, is something that's going to have me relate with none of you guys whatsoever. It's going to be catering to all you anime weeaboo-boos out there. What is your favorite anime? Now there's a reason I'm asking this question. I actually did ask a very similar question, or maybe the exact same one, I'm not really sure, back in the Pokemon Black randomizer uh, Nuzlocke. But since that series is long dead, I wanted to ask it again because I'm actually looking for some pretty good anime recommendations because that's kind of something I want to start watching in my free time. I don't have a lot of free time, mind you, but whenever I do, I kind of want to watch a bit of Ant moves, you know, a bit of the My Hero Academia and stuff like that. I've actually seen My Hero Academia, great show, definitely recommend you guys watch it. This Trico is a fucking problem. Honestly, this Trico is a problem, but I need to catch him because I need my egg. My egg could literally be anything. It could literally be a god. It could literally be Arceus. It could. Also, my egg, my, my egg, my egg is indeed blue. My shirt is blue. My tongue is blue. And it's fucking, it's great. I've been, I've been eating these uh, little charms lollipops off to the side uh, while like recording and editing and stuff. And you know what? I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say it. I got a blue tongue. I got a blue tongue. I am not afraid to say it. Not in the slightest. What I am afraid of is not being able to catch this Trico. But, I digress. <laughs> I digress with everything that I just tangented on with because if I never stop myself, I'm never gonna actually get into like talking about this episode and what's going on. Anyways, how are you guys doing? It's been since Saturday since this episode uh, was posted for you guys. It is Monday at the time of recording this. It's going up Tuesday, so it means I gotta edit this video tonight. So I gotta, you know, bust my ass and I gotta catch this Trico. Yeah, there we go. There we go. But yeah, we only have about 30 minutes to record today, so we're gonna make this a good episode. I wanna get a lot of encounters and I wanna hatch a lot of eggs. Um, because you guys sent in a lot of cool eggs and then probably a lot of Magikarps. I saw a couple comments that were really worrying that uh, there was like eight Magikarps in here. And I'm not, I don't want that. Please, 
please don't. <laughs> please. They're all, I'm just gonna have a team of six Magikarp and we will rule the world with that. But you know what? It's all right, it's okay. We're here, we're gonna hatch an egg immediately. Uh, let me get my random number generator. Oh. oh, random number generator is dead. Bah! Okay, anyways, we got ourselves a random number generator. Uh, my, 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 my phone is actually dead currently. So instead, we're going to be using the computer as the random number generator, but it is going to tell us, for those of you who don't actually know, box one, box two, or box three. We're going to go, bop, 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 bop. There we go. Box number three is what it said. I had to just casually check to make sure pressing buttons didn't just stop the recording. Now we're going to check row one through three. Bop! Row number two. All right, we have not got to pick through this row yet. And mon number one through six, which one? Mon number four, let's go. Rocket Junior. Ooh, I'm actually intrigued. Let me go drop this Trico off immediately because he is a useless boy to me. I actually kind of want to keep every uh, Mon that I catch on route, like in this PC to see how badass of a team I could have had instead of all these Magikarps ruling my entire life. But we're gonna see what Rocket Junior is. Oh, he hatched immediately, yo. So we did it right. Okay, Rocket Junior. I hate you guys. You realize this is level boosted, correct? You guys realize that giving me shit Pokemon, I'm just gonna lose. Fucking Wobbuffet. Yeah, we're gonna name it Rocket Junior. I get the Rocket name now. I understand why it's called Rocket. Really? Wobbuffet. I hate Wobbuffet. I hate this thing. I, I I hate it. This is bad. This is bad. I really thought I'd be getting some game-breaking Pokemon. No, 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 no. I'm getting some I'm broken and crying on the floor because I didn't get anything that I wanted for Christmas and I found out the Santa Claus wasn't real Pokemon. That, that's what I'm getting. And I'm upset about it, dude. Ha. Oh. Rocket Junior. Please tell me you have some broken moves. Please tell me just for some reason you've got like Draco Meteor or something. Let's find out. He's got the naughty nature. Oh, it's a naughty Wobbuffet. Ooh. With counter self-destruct false strike. We're Roar of Time! Yo, we got something! We'll take it! We will take Roar of Time and synchronize. Passes burn, poison, or paralysis to the foe. Okay, I'll take that. You listen. We got a Wobbuffet with Roar of Time. I'm keeping them on the team. I'm keeping this Wobbuffet on the team. We're gonna do that. You know what? That's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to grind him up. We're gonna have him switch out for Fish. We're gonna have him switch out for Fish, and we're going to grind up a uh, Roar of Time Wobbuffet. How does a Wobbuffet use Roar of Time? How how does that happen? Could someone explain? Dollywop, if you're watching, how does a how does a Wobbuffet that goes Wobbuffet like how how does that use Roar of Time? Please somebody tell me. I'm very, I want to know what what goes on in the anatomy of a Wobbuffet for it to be able to perform a roar that literally bends time to its will. Cause it's a Wobbuffet. <laughs> but we do get two more Pokemon here. So I'm really hoping we can, get, we can get like a nice team that we can grind up and actually use to like proceed on in the game instead of a Wobbuffet. Oh, I didn't go get an escape rope. We can go grab an escape rope after we go get another Pokemon because we can actually get a, uh, we can actually walk into the grass here and get the ruins of Alf. Um, Cause you can go to the ruins of Alf and then like the cave ruins of Alf and then those count as different encounters. So we get to figure out how to, no, that ain't it. Uh, all nice sprites. I, I don't know where I'm going. The, 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 the fucking, the place of Alf is kind of hard. I don't know where Alf is or who he is. And I don't have like a fishing rod and Maybe we can only just get one Pokemon here. Maybe that's the case. Well, let's go get one Pokemon here. However, we are going to go grab an escape rope because you get like five items. And since the items are randomized, we're going to get five Master Balls guaranteed. Correct, game? I'm going to get like only berries. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I'm going to get only berries and it's just going to be depressing. And honestly, that's, that's my entire life. Only berries and depression. <laughs> What do you do all day? I pick berries and I'm depressed. That just sounds like, like a farmer that hates his existence. I am, Equinox is essentially a farmer that hates his existence. Except for I'm not a farmer and I don't hate my existence. So I have nothing in common with a farmer that hates his ex existence. But I still am just like one in a way. 
Really, aren't we all, aren't we all just like something we're exactly nothing like, in a way? Fucking wrap your head around that, astrologists, psychologists, psychoanalysts, psychoanalysts. <clears throat> I, I said a, I said a word, it means poopy. I mean, mean like, a, like a butthole. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am literally, I'm losing my mind today. Honestly, I've been working, I've been doing tons of shit, I am not doing this puzzle, you can actually eat my anal. <laughs> Fucking hell, no. I wanna just use the escape rope, please. So we're gonna go out here, we're gonna pop an escape rope. I have damp rock, I didn't know that. Why does the damp rock look like it's just frozen in ice? But then I also have never melt ice, hold on. Look at this. this damp rock isn't damp. This rock isn't damp at all. It's it's frozen in ice. I literally I don't go out in a fucking blizzard and just be like, oh man, it's a little, got a little damp. I've been out there too long. No, I'm like, holy shit, I'm frozen solid. Someone help! But no, this damp rock's like, yeah, it's just a little wet and completely frozen solid. It's literally a tiny rock that is made gigantic by the amount of ice just compiled onto it. Yeah, it's just a little damp rock, just just a little bit. And then the never melt ice is like, am I a fucking joke to you? No one ever gives love to the never melt ice, dude. That's, it's just, it's sad. It's honestly sad. I feel bad for the never melt ice, but I don't feel bad for this master ball. What I meant to say was I don't feel bad for this master ball. What I meant to say is I do not feel bad for our master ball. It said an M, I thought it was. Oh, I was excited. Master ball. Poison. Those items kind of suck, honestly. Those items kind of suck. What is it with the powering up water type moves, dog? What the fuck? And a poison dart barb that powers up poison type moves. Okay, it's fine. Actually, we could technically get, we can give mystic water to our Vaporeon. And then he'll have a very strong aqua jet, which is kind of cool. I mean, we don't have a rain dance or anything, uh, or ice type moves, or a poison move, so that's really all we can do, but Mystic Water, we now have a Vaporeon holding a little, like, wearing a necklace, so that's cool. Our gain. What does this say? Our plan engraved in this pride. In wait. Our plan engraved words in this place. Okay. I actually didn't know what that said. I've never really read that, so that's kind of cool. But uh, I, th I think you can get the whole story of the unknown down here, but I mean, I'm not really going to waste my time with that. All I'm going to do is catch this Goldeen and just yeet the hell out of here. <laughs> There's like this entire whole, like, whole... What, what move was that? Safeguard? I don't have safeguard. What? I'm, I'm concerned. Anyway, there's this whole, entire like whole backstory of the place and there's this entire like history lesson to be learned and I'm just like, oh, I'm grabbing a fish, yeet! And then just dips. I just actually dip from the entire situation. They're like, he spent all the trouble to come down here. All he did was grab a fish and leave. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> what if I just did that at like a fucking aquarium? I just walk into an aquarium and they're like, well, this fish is actually 87 years old. And I'm just like, yeet! And I just run away with the fish. I mean, yes, that's called theft, but that would also be funny. That would make for a good intro moment. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna steal a fish from the aquarium. Would be a funny intro moment though. Let me just write down, hold, hold on, hold on guys, one second. Uh, all right, don't worry guys. There's no reason I did that. Uh, just do, do not worry. Um, we're completely fine. There's, uh, <clears throat> um, well, anywho. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Fucking hell. I find myself hilarious, but I also find Equator nearing death. So let me switch into fish. And then we can just catch this Goldeen. And we're gonna get a Rayquaza out of our egg. And that's just how that's gonna go. And we're gonna win because we have Rayquaza. Really, 
It's just, it's easy as that. It's really as simple as that. But if you guys are indeed enjoying this episode, make sure to slap that like button to show that love, show that support. You know, it really helps the series out a lot. The response I've gotten on this series so far has been literally insane. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support you've given it. I've seen tons of comments. I see it, tons of people asking when the series is coming back, which if you guys didn't already know, it's every Tuesday, it's Saturday. And um, just honestly, thank you guys for all the love and support you've given the series. We've have we've had a couple new people come to the channel that are based solely from this series. That is Alethion. That is the worst evolution. How dare you grace me with your presence? Rocket Junior is disgusting. Rocket Junior is about you know what? Fuck this. Catch this blast bird. I was about to run away. Nah 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 nah. Okay. Wait. Rewind that back. <laughs> Catch this blast burn, dog. Catch this blast burn. Get out of here. Get out of here. There it is. Fucking burn that leafy onto a crisp. Get out of here. I even sent out Fish, which is like type disadvantage, just to kill that thing. Also, Rocket Tune, you just gained three levels, so that's pretty good. But. Honestly, before I get sidetracked, I get sidetracked so much. Like, I apologize. Watching my commentary must be a trip and a half, like, to figure out what's going on. I just imagine somebody's in their room with, like, a giant whiteboard and those, like, pins and red yarn lines being like, oh, geez, what, is, what does it mean? What is he talking about? I don't understand it. Like, because, I mean, I, I can't even decipher what I'm talking about half the time. I'm just trying to say words and sometimes be cohesive. But... Before I get too sidetracked, honestly, thank you guys for all the support of the series, all the love and all that jazz. You guys are amazing, and if it wasn't for you guys in the first place, this series wouldn't even be possible, and it's one of my favorites I've ever done. That one, this and Unlock have to be my favorite series that I've ever done, for now, because we've got new stuff coming that's going to blow these two projects out of the water. Hopefully not. Hopefully you still watch this project, because this project is big good, and I spend a lot of time on it, but other projects good too. Okay, this is going to be our sixth Pokemon. This is going to fill our Pokemoka slot, and it's going to be perfect. You guys ready? Goldeen, more like Smoldeen. Got him. <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. I, I, oh shit. <laughs> just cut that, cut that. Editor me, don't leave it in. Editor me, don't leave in just me blanking and not even thinking of anything and just, just being an absolute dwarf. Don't leave that in. Editor me, please. Editor, do not, do, don't do it. Don't, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you in your premiere timeline trying to leave stuff in. Please don't do that. I would look like an idiot. Anyways, we've got a random number generator pulled up here. One, two, three, boom! Egg box numero two. We're never gonna get to box number one, are we? We're just not allowed it. And line out of five, boom! Bo Ooh, line number one. And out of six, boom! Boom! There we go, number Five. All right, cool. I clicked it one time and it just didn't update. Okay, Dave. His name is Dave. Please don't be a Magikarp. Your name's Dave. It just, just don't be a Magikarp. Be something good. Just be like a Lugia named Dave or something. You know, like g give me, give me something here. Don't be, don't be like a fucking Magikarp. I swear to God, I'm afraid of all these eggs being Magikarps now. I'm literally terrified of every single egg just being a Magikarp. And there's nothing I can do about it. Don't be a Magikarp. Don't do it. Just don't, don't do it to me. I've been a good boy. I've ate my beans. I've ate my greens. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I really didn't think that would be a Magikarp. I really did not think that would be a Magikarp. I really didn't think this would be a Magikarp. Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna check Dave's stats, and we're probably going to re-roll Dave, honestly. Hyperbeam, Earthquake, Fissure, and Leech Seed. Dear God, you guys are really creative with your Magikarps. Okay, well, I actually, this is a topic I kinda wanted to talk about. Dupes Pokemon. There, we're clearly going to have a lot of dupes Pokemon in this series because all you guys think you're so funny. There are literally 492 Pokemon in this game at this time and you all thought, oh, we're only choosing Magikarp. And so for this Pokemon in exclusivity, um, 
I'm going to, since I've already had two other ones, I'm going to accept the, the, the second one. However, this Magikarp, Dave, whoever made this one, I'm looking at you. We're going to re-roll. So Dave, your Pokemon is in the game, but he's going to go, he's going to go sit over here. So, now, I talked about this in the comment section. Uh, somebody suggested re-rolling some Pokemon. I was like, is that allowed? Is that okay? People said yes, uh, if you get too many of the same Magikarp. So, we're gonna roll, or like, I don't want the same Magikarp. I want to have interesting Pokemon. I want to have, make this interesting for everybody. So, we're going to, we're gonna roll, and we're gonna go to box two. I don't like box two. Box two gives me just Magikarps, dude. Can we not? And we're gonna get a different Pokemon this time. Boom. Layer number one, all right, this again, and number four, okay. Draco, that can't possibly be a Magikarp, correct? Sounds like a dragon. Sounds like a Dragonite, right? Okay, please? This is gonna be the count for our Ruins of Elf mod. This this counts our, as our Ruins of Elf mod, all right? That's that's how that's going to work. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hello? Hello, Mr. Egg? Mr. Egg, is anybody home? And if there is someone home, can it not be a Magikarp? All right, here we go. Please, 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 Dragonite. Just give me a Dragonite. No, are kidding me. Is the game broken? Is the game actually broken? Are y'all fucking kidding me right now? Are y'all actually joking? Re it's named Doug. That's a big puppy! Holy shit! Editor me, you're gonna do some editing. I literally said it could be God, didn't I? Roll a fucking clip! I literally said it could be God. That it's dog. God backwards. Oh shit! You know what? I will take this over a Magikarp any motherfucking day. What moves do it? I swear to God, if he just has Splash, what move? What move? Let's find out. Roar of Time Special Rend. We got Palkias and the Algas. Judgment and Cosmic Power. That is a mod I am proud to have on the team. And it's also not a Magikarp. Hell yes. Oh my God. He All right, let's continue. Let's fucking continue on. We we've done that. I've recorded for way too long and uh, we're probably only like 18 minutes into recording, but I've been recording for 25 minutes because of all the stuff I've had to cut out because all I've done is have Magikarps. But you know what? It's okay. We're going to continue on. We're going to go down to the next route, which uh, is uh, to the right of the Ruins of Time. Uh, alpha Ruins out al Ruins of Alpha Ru Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Wait, chat! Chat, 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 chat. Is this how this works? How does this work? Uh, no. No. Bravo, promising journey. A chronologist has just arrived. A visitor, oh I see, you got me excited for nothing. How do I do this? Wait, 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 I have Arceus. There's a way to get another encounter here. You literally get a legendary Pokemon gifted to you. How do you do this? Ah. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna let the comment section figure that out. If you guys can let me know how to literally, cause you go in the Alf Ruins somewhere, and I guarantee you, you go into the Alf Ruins, and like, I don't know what you do or where you go for it, but you go somewhere into the Ruins of Alf with Arceus, and you are like, you go into this room, this temple, and they just all spawn like every legendary that's ever existed. I, I Maybe it's in here? No, no. They, they, they like literally spawn uh, Giratina, Palkia, Dialga, and you get to literally choose one. That's how that works. And then you just get to have them because you have Arceus. Like you literally just get a free one. Yo, Scorpio, what's up, dude? How you doing? That's crazy. Also, it's probably a smart thing to just grind up here. I'm gonna grind all these mons off screen anyway because all I really have viable right now is Ish and uh, Absolute. 
But, dude, how do I get that? I want that. I really do. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm naming this fucking episode Dog, by the way. Just naming it Dog, by the way. D, uh, like, line O, line G. In fact, so I remember that timestamp. There we go. That, that, that way I can, like, remember. I'm gonna have a better timestamp set up in just a minute, but, you know, I feel like this works for now. <laughs> kind of have to go, like, type on the board and shit. Uh, all right, I guess not. Old man, how about you? Do you like my giant dog? No, you don't like my giant dog? Okay, well, you know, we're just gonna continue on uh, after we get out of this battle. And then someone in the... Look at that, look you, do kabuki. Look at that, look you, look A Ducario, a Bubario. Sorry, no, it's fine. But we're gonna continue onward, um, and we're gonna just, like, go make some progress. Uh, this is this is probably gonna be a little bit less of a progress-filled episode because we've just been getting Pokemon the entire time, but I'm not actually upset with that. I'm actually pretty okay with just having that. I mean, I was supposed to be done at 7 o'clock, and it's now 7.06, but it's okay. We're gonna keep going for a little bit because I want to make some progress before we wrap up. We literally got Arceus. I mean, why would I just stop the recording after we literally get Arceus, the god of all mons? What? Wait, what up? What's the hurry? You got some good Pokemon there. Uh, yeah, his name is Arcus. Arcus Deus. Ooh, a Miracle Seed. I'm gonna give this to my Arceus, and it's gonna do nothing. Dude, I just realized if I find any plates in the wild like you always do in this game, I can actually use them! I can use them on Arceus! Who, by the way, needs the Dragon Plate pretty damn badly. Like, that would be amazing. I find the Dragon Plate, I've won the lock. There's literally, I, I guarantee you I've won the Egg Lock if I find the Dragon Plate. Guarantee. Okay, focus energy is kind of bad, but you know what? That's all right. We have blast burn. Blast burn solves every issue I've ever had, honestly. Blast burn fixes everything. Primeape's got nothing because blast burn. <laughs> all right. So we've probably been recording for about 20, 22 minutes. Editor me, am I correct in that assumption? Let's find out. Cool. <laughs> I don't know if you guys said like the answer popped up on screen. I don't know what it is. But you guys probably do, so was I correct on the assumption? I don't know, we'll find out. Um, okay, let me let me fight this kid. There we go. So we're probably gonna keep recording for about another 10 minutes or so. Then I'm gonna wrap up my recording session and we're going to go record with TJ and then I'll be streaming. So that's how my day's going. Hell yeah, Reggie Rock. Don't, don't explode. You're not allowed to explode. All right, I really thought he had Sand Trap. I really thought, I don't know why, because Sand just appeared on stream or on, <laughs> I say stream too much on screen, and I was like, dude, if this Regirock is Sand Trap, I'm gonna be salty. He, he didn't. I, I don't know why I thought he would. Regirock doesn't get that. I mean, abilities are randomized, but still. It's okay. We're good. I'm just overthinking it because I have a giant legendary. This shouldn't even get close to killing it. got decently close to doing things. If that was a crit, I would have lost my, my, my fish and then also my will to live. But you know, it's, it's all right. It's fine, we're good. We got scuffed by the sandstorm, and <laughs> his next mon's Rattata. You only got one good mon, huh, man? You only got one good mon. You, you, you went into this cave, and you found the giant ancient rock being from years before, and then you went right outside of the cave, and you caught the first rat you saw. All right. <laughs> I'm glad that's your fucking, uh, those are your priorities, Ghost Rider Pie. Glad, glad you, uh, you got all your plans straightened out. Ooh, a Hodgecrow. Fuck yeah. All right, I feel like Dog can definitely handle himself now, especially with like special rend. Whoopsies, I dropped the big boy move. My bad. Wow, that did half. That did half. Listen, Arceus, you're gonna need, you're gonna need some better moves. All right, let's, let's pop a judgment. I'm hella judging this Honchcrow for sassing me with Haze earlier. And stab causes it to kill, sweet. That should be like at least level seven. <laughs> I know it's saying a lot, like like wishing a lot for Arceus to be level 7 after this. No way. Oh! Oh, I really thought we were going to get level 7. I would have been so excited. I just looked at my fucking audacity. The peak whenever I said, oh. I got so loud. I'm sorry to everyone's ears, but I mean, it was worth it. I got excited. I was I was hyped, and I didn't get it, and now I'm sad. But we are going to use our ruler of time. Literally, Arceus is broken, dude. This is a broken mon. Broken with three Ks, dude. That wasn't even very effective. 
and now it's crying fake tears. He's doing a wah 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 wah, and I'm gonna judge him really hard. I like to think RCS's judgment is he just he just got like really judgmental eyes like. Arceus just puts on the sass and it decimates his opponent. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. Arceus literally is just like... Maybe a bit of a head shake and a bit of like a tisk tisk or like a I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. That type of shit, that is what kills his opponents. Arceus isn't even that strong, he's just really good at making you feel bad. Making you feel guilty for what you've done. Which is why he passes down judgment. PERFECT segue! Or not even segue. What am I saying? Perfect analogy, I guess. There we go. That is how Arceus literally... That, that, that's how that works. Arceus just makes you feel bad. That's what happens. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Alright, Electrite, get out of here, Doug. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, so now we're gonna keep going down here. I'm pretty sure this person gives you nothing. They give you nothing but a battle. They, they give you nothing but a good time. Alright, Jonathan the girl. And she's got Shucky. Hello, Shucky. Little baby Shucky. Meet my giant dog. Me meet them. Say hi. Say hi to my giant dog. I'm sure they've got tons of stuff for you in store. And, ooh. I like how Special Ren can hit, like, without having to recharge, but War of Time does. I think the Algus hits harder. It just needs time to recharge. And I think Palkia's is completely fine. Like, Palkia's is like a 90 damage, and the Algus is like a 150 or something. I don't know. I actually don't know any of the, any of the, like, the logistics on that. I could be completely wrong. Also, I don't want your phone number. All I want to do is hang out with my dog all day. He is my little puffer. My little puffer? Little buffer. There we go. And he is, I love him. He's my favorite thing ever. All right, the glance. It's intriguing. Yeah, damn right it's intriguing. I got a nice glance, dog. All right, manager Daniel. He sent out Metapod. Hello. I sent out a dog. I sent out a giant puppy that has special rent. <laughs> and uh, instead of barking, it rips time in half while, while by roaring at you. But, you know, you had a chance there, Metapod. You almost won. You almost won the fight. Good job. I should not get that much experience from killing a Metapod. I should lose experience. I should feel bad at, like, the game should be like, you just killed a thing that can't even hurt you. And then you lose experience from being, like, feeling bad. That's what should happen. Also, what did I even get just there? I didn't even check. I honestly did not even look at what I just collected. I'm like, still kind of hyped up on the fact that I'm rocking an Arceus. Like, I'm feeling pretty good on that. I'm like thinking in my mind, like, Editor Me's gonna love that TCG. Editor Me's going to absolutely adore that TCG. What did I get? Waterstone. Okay, I, I picked up a Waterstone. So I could have a Vaporeon if I don't already have a Vaporeon. So that's kind of cool. I'll just get another Vaporeon. We will have two Vaporeons, and they will both have Blast Burn, and they will take over the world! Oh my god. Dude, this dog is- this dog is broken. Like, I- 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 that's how my fucking lock is gonna go. There's either you have broken Mons, or you have literally, like, garbage. Like, the worst thing in the world Mons. Literally, I'll have either Arceus and a Vaporeon with Blast Burn and a Typhlosion, or I'll have three Magikarps. Like, man. That's sick! Leaf Blade? Oh, hell yeah. What can learn it? What can learn Leaf Blade? Can Arceus learn Leaf Blade? Can Arceus learn Leaf Blade? Arceus can. We may teach Arceus Leaf Blade in the future if we don't ever find a, find a grass Pokemon. Because that would be a nice thing, give it like a little grass plate, excuse me. There it is! There it is! There's the episode burp! Oh my god, I didn't think we were gonna get it. I thought we were gonna go a whole episode without fucking vomiting from my mouth air. You know, burps sound a lot worse whenever you just cl like classify them as vomiting air from your mouth. That sounds a lot worse. <laughs> What'd you do? Oh man, I felt bad all day. I vomited air from my mouth like eight times. So you mean you burped? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's dude. Put that on a t-shirt and sell it. I vomited air from my mouth, also known as a burp. Just put that in like little subtext down there. Why is War of Time like a like the worst move? Oh, is it because it's physical and I'm special? It's probably because it's physical and I uh, fucking Arceus is special. I just, I don't know why I keep using it. Probably because I just ran out of special ring. Oh. No, this masquerade is just a fucking tank. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You literally... 
this masquerade has sto stood up to me ripping time in half and then also distorting the universe in space. And he's just like, what? But he can't stand up to the glare. He can't stand up to the judginess of Arceus. Nah, dude. Nah, that, that makes the ma masquerade fall every time. Level nine on our doggo, nice. He's our, he's our beautiful little puppy. He's our, he's our beautiful little doggy, little woofers. So we have a nice little, we have a giant, we have like a, a giant like four foot, is it four foot? Maybe four or five foot Vaporeon that can literally like, that exhales fire from its body. Like this is our lineup right now. Giant five foot Vaporeon that like exhales fire from his body. We have a Typhlosion with fucking earthquake. Like this Typhlosion can just bend the ground at his will. And then we also have our giant Arceus God that literally just acts like a dog the entire time. He's just our puppy. We give him pets and we tell him it's going to be okay. And then we also have an army of Magikarp in the back. This series is amazing. This is a magical experience and I'm really excited. <laughs> All right. Um, I think this is where we're going to wrap up the episode because we are reaching 39 minutes and we've made a lot of progress. Next episode, we're going to take on the uh, cave and hopefully make it our way to the Slowpoke Well and beat Team Rocket. That way, uh, in episode six, that'll be, we'll take on the gym and we'll really start to get the ball rolling in Pokemon. But... If you guys did indeed just enjoy this episode, make sure to slap that like button. Let's try to go for 40 likes this episode. I believe we can hit it. Let's fucking do that shit. My name is Mid Equinox. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And if you enjoyed this type of commentary, I got a lot more stuff in your way. A lot cool stuff, cool, big, good stuff. Great things in the future. I'm going to go record with Travis. And I love you all. And have a fantastic day. Peace.